So here we are once again, talking about a camera that's been the subject of countless discussions, speculations, and wish lists, the Sony A7 V. It's a model many creators, photographers, and hybrid shooters have been eagerly anticipating. And while Sony hasn't made anything official yet, the recent rumors, leaks, and insider chatter are painting a clearer picture of what's to come. If everything aligns as expected, the Sony A7 V might finally make its debut toward the end of this year, likely around October or November. That timeline makes sense, especially considering how long Sony has stretched the A7IV's product cycle. Many had originally predicted a mid-2025 release, but factors like global tariffs, production slowdowns, and continued strong demand for the current A7IV seem to have delayed things slightly. Now, the wait might finally be nearing its end, and the question everyone's asking is simple. What can we realistically expect from this next-generation hybrid camera? Let's start with the body and build, an area where Sony seems to be taking a refined, evolutionary approach rather than a radical redesign. The A7 V isn't expected to completely reinvent the look or feel of the series, and that's actually a smart move. The A7 lineup has always represented a sweet spot in Sony's mirrorless range, powerful enough for professionals, yet accessible enough for enthusiasts who demand versatility. Sony understands this balance well and won't want to alienate that loyal user base. From what's been reported, the build will see subtle but meaningful improvements. The body could become slightly more robust and better sealed against weather and dust. Dual card slots are expected again, but this time supporting both CF Express Type A and SD cards, giving users flexibility depending on their workflow. That means high speed CF Express cards for demanding video or burst shooting, and affordable SDs for casual photography or as reliable backups. Small usability tweaks like this go a long way for working shooters. Another area that's reportedly getting attention is the electronic viewfinder. The A7IV's EVF was decent for its time, but not exceptional. During long shoots, especially outdoors or while fine-tuning manual focus, many users noticed its limitations. Rumors suggest the Sony A7 V could introduce a higher-resolution EVF, likely around 5.76 million dots, bringing it closer to what we've seen in higher-end bodies like the A1 or A7 RV. A sharper and brighter viewfinder would dramatically improve the shooting experience and make the camera feel more premium overall. Now for the heart of the camera, the sensor. The Sony A7 V is rumored to feature an all-new 44-megapixel BSI CMOS sensor, possibly backed by a dedicated AI processing chip. It's not a stacked sensor like those found in Sony's flagship A1 or A93, but that's intentional. A stacked sensor would raise costs significantly, pushing the A7 V into flagship pricing territory. Instead, Sony seems to be opting for a balanced approach. Higher resolution, faster readout, and improved image quality, all at a manageable price point. This 44MP sensor marks a notable upgrade over the A7IV's 33MP chip, providing a meaningful jump in detail and dynamic range without going into extreme high-resolution territory like the A7R series. For still photographers, that bump could make a visible difference, allowing for tighter crops or larger prints without sacrificing image clarity. But what makes this new sensor even more interesting is its rumored triple base ISO design 800, 4000, and 25600. That's a big deal, especially for hybrid shooters who frequently switch between stills and video. Triple base ISO would give creators remarkable flexibility in exposure and dynamic range. Whether you're shooting in Log 3, Log 2, or HLG, you'll have optimal noise performance and cleaner shadows across a wide range of lighting environments. For low-light videographers or wedding shooters working in dim venues, this could be a game-changer. It's the kind of improvement that doesn't just look good on paper. It changes how you shoot in real-world situations. Performance is another area where the Sony A7 V looks poised to impress. Burst speed is rumored to reach up to 20 frames per second when shooting RAW with a mechanical shutter. Double what the A7 IV could do, that alone pushes the camera deeper into semi-professional territory for sports, action, and wildlife shooters. No, it won't match the blistering speed of Sony's stacked sensor monsters like the A93, but it doesn't need to. The A7V's goal is balance, giving users strong performance across both photo and video without pushing the price into flagship range. 
Paired with this burst speed, the A75 is expected to feature an advanced eye-driven autofocus system, similar to what Sony introduced in the A7RV and A93. That means improved subject recognition powered by machine learning, allowing the camera to track not only eyes and faces, but also bodies, animals, vehicles, and even insects with greater reliability. For portrait shooters, wedding photographers, or street shooters, this level of precision can drastically reduce missed shots. The in-body image stabilization IBIS is rumored to reach up to 8 stops, another big step forward. Combined with Sony's digital active mode, handheld footage could look smoother and more stable than ever, even when shooting at longer focal lengths or in challenging conditions. Video is where many eyes are focused, and rightly so, Sony's A7 series has become a go-to for hybrid creators. The Sony A7 V could take that role to the next level. Current reports suggest it will offer 6K recording at 30p, with the possibility of an oversampled 4K image from the full sensor width. Some sources have even hinted at a cropped 8K mode, though that seems less certain at this stage. Still, even just 6K oversampled 4K would be a major step up from the A7 IV's 4K 60 output. Expect full 10-bit 4. 2. 2 color, improved dynamic range in S-Log 3, and potentially new color signs borrowed from Sony's cinema line. Combined with the rumored triple base ISO, the A7 V could deliver stunning video flexibility, especially for those shooting in variable lighting. For creators who move fluidly between photography and video, from weddings to documentaries to travel content, this could be the most practical hybrid Sony has ever made. So why did it take Sony so long to bring this camera to market? Industry insiders suggest that while the A7 V was originally planned for an earlier release, global tariffs and production slowdowns reshaped the company's schedule. Sony prioritized updates to its cinema and compact lines, such as the FX2 and RX1 R3, before turning full attention back to the A7 series. Given the massive popularity of the A7 IV, Sony likely wanted to ensure that the A7 V launch would be smooth and well-stocked from day one. In the end, the Sony A7 V doesn't need to reinvent the wheel, it just needs to bring enough refinement and real-world improvements to make the upgrade feel worthwhile. A new 44MP sensor, triple base ISO, faster bursts, better IBIS, smarter autofocus, and more robust design all point to a camera that continues the A7 legacy in the best way possible. For A7 III owners, it could be a huge leap forward. For A7 IV users, the upgrade decision will depend on your priorities. More resolution and better video might be worth it, while others may choose to hold on to what they have. Either way, the Sony A7 V looks ready to carry the A7 line into a new era, smarter, faster, and more versatile than ever before. And that's exactly why the entire camera world is watching closely.